What's up everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. On today's video we're going to be discussing the top 10 things that beginner snowboarders do that you should probably avoid. Now these are just things that I've kind of picked up on in my time snowboarding. So if you guys have anything that I didn't mention, be sure to leave it in the comments. First thing, first thing that beginners should avoid when snowboarding is chilling in the middle of the slope. Yeah, I wish there was a, I wish there was somewhere I could just sit down. When I say that, I mean like sitting down in the middle of a busy slope. You see this all the time and it's like, dog, just go to the side of something. Because when you're doing that, you're getting in people's way and people are getting annoyed at you. Some angry skier might try to fight you. So yeah, the easiest way to avoid that is just to scooch on over to the side of the slope so you're not in anyone's way. The second thing on this list, sitting on landings, bro. to watch this jump would be right here right here yes <laughs> yes just just don't do it it's just not a it's just not a good time for anyone and the third thing i see a lot of people do is this did you see what changed I mean, it's not a major thing, but headphones on the outside. I see so many people do this, but like, they're just kind of like getting your way and stuff and your hands can get caught in it. A very easy way to fix this is just to tuck them through your shirt so then they're not in anyone's way. That's if you're listening to music. Some people don't even like to listen to music. I do. The fourth thing is when your boots aren't tight enough. Because when your boots aren't tight enough, it makes snowboarding so much harder. Uh, yeah, just try it one day. Try snowboarding with loose boots and you'll find out. Make sure your boots are tight. A general rule of thumb is if you can fit more than two fingers into like the tongue of your boot, then uh, then it's a bit loose. Like, see this? That's good. That is a good tightness. All right, number five is something that I, I don't understand people being able to do. It, and that's not wearing gloves when they snowboard. I don't know how you guys can do it. Like doing up your binding and stuff, it kind of hurts a little bit. And then when you fall, you get it on your hands and it's all cold. And if you can, avoid not wearing gloves. You want to be wearing gloves. Six on the list. When you're strapping into your board, you put your toe strap over like the top of your foot and not on the tip of your toe. Now I know some bindings are out there, they're made to go on the top of your foot, then like, that's where you want to put it. But you don't want to be the guy that has the toe strap that's meant to go on the tip of your toe, on the top of your foot. Alright, and seventh on the list is getting your snowboarding friend to teach you how to snowboard when they really have no idea how to teach snowboarding. Today we're heading up to the Remarkables and I'm going to teach my friend Thomas. Yeah, I'm going to teach him how to snowboard. Thomas! Believe! Understand that when life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for, to work day and night for, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it. See, it's time now. If you want to make this your decade, you've got to start saying yes. Yes, I found that one out the hard way. If you want to go watch that full video, the link will come up right there. And the eighth thing, if you're just a beginner, I wouldn't recommend going to the big park. Because every now and then you see a complete beginner rock up to the big park. They're just kind of getting people's way and stuff, so if you're full on a beginner, stick to like the smaller parks, work your way up, then uh, come to the big parks and uh, send it. Alright, ninth on the list is hiking up the hill and then putting your board down and not getting your foot in, and then the board just shoots off and it goes and hits someone. You have to hike back down the hill and get your board. Easy way to avoid this is when you're putting your foot in when you hike up to the point you want. You want to be facing down the hill, put your board down, still holding onto your high back, put your front foot in, and once your front foot's in, the high back should stop it from going down the hill, and uh, you'll be sweet. And the tenth thing on this list, the tenth thing, the most common beginner mistake, and I sometimes make this mistake unknowingly, is of course... Dog Gabriel, bro! Using the side of rail takeoffs as jumps. Wow, that's a sick rail line. Oh yeah! Wow! 
If you're gonna hit the takeout for a rail, hit the rail. If not, just go find a small jump that you can uh, you do some jumps off of. And that's pretty much all the 10 things you guys should avoid if you're a beginner snowboarder. If I missed out on anything, please leave them in the comments and I will uh, I'll have a look at them and I'll be like, yo, I missed out on that. I should have put that in this video, but I didn't. Sweet, let's uh, let's continue with the day. Let's go riding. We're riding at Copper Mountain today. You see this? This does not fly around here. So I think we're gonna have to start today's video off with getting some new laces. Well, that shop seemed to have everything but laces. Do you guys have snowboard? Oh, there's laces. See? <laughs> There we go, got the laces, they were like six dollars. So uh, now I won't be needing to use these crummy old uh, broken laces anymore. They will also be white and steezy. Let's check those on the boots. There we go, you don't understand how much longer this took than it should have taken. It took so much longer. Ah yeah. There we go. Rikai has a doctor's appointment today, so he couldn't ride with me, and Tyro is at school, so it looks like I'm riding by myself today. But it'll be sick, we'll get some GoPro clips, and uh, it should be a fun time, because it's always a fun time up here on the mountain, snowboarding. jump line. My goal for today, front seven, back three, front three. So we're gonna see if I can do that. And if we can do that, I'll be happy. All right, here we go. Finished riding carpet for the day. Look at that, we're down the bottom. Super sick day. I'm so happy with how it went. Did a seven, which was sick because like the seven I did yesterday was really crappy, but I'm glad I got them back today. So uh, yeah, now we're just waiting for Rakai to come get us. This place is honestly so rad. I give it two thumbs ups out of two thumbs ups. Even though I only showed you one thumbs up. There's two. Rad. What's good? Oh, you know. Yeah, Jesus. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Had a lot of fun making it. And also, if you guys have any tips for beginner snowboarders that I forgot to put in this video, make sure to leave them in the comments and I'll read them. And I'll be like, yo, tomorrow we're going back up copper. And it's going to be sick because, like, it's snowing outside right now. You can't tell, but it is. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. So, yeah, make sure you come back tomorrow for another sick snowboarding video because we make them every day.
Sweet. Peace out, dudes. Catch you tomorrow. Oh, make sure to subscribe. Sweet and old who we are. It'll take five days by car.